like I don't personally believe, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like, that doesn't mean that we can't live mm -hmm. the same way. Hey there, I'm Erica Campbell. I'm a singer, a songwriter. I'm a mom, a wife, an all around cool chick. So today I'm sitting down with people from different ends of the faith spectrum. We're just gonna have a healthy conversation. Can't wait to get into it, I'm really excited. My name is Josh and I am a former Christian. Hi, I'm Emily and I identify as an atheist. My name is Nina and I identify as agnostic. I was raised in a very strict Mormon household. I was the very first one in my family to leave the church. I have been a happy non-believer ever since. I guess technically I was raised in the Catholic faith kind of by default. We went to church sometimes on Christmas, usually like weddings or funerals, something like that. I grew up lightly Hindu. Uh, we're like culturally Hindu, but I kind of came to the conclusion that like whether or not there is a God or there isn't a God, like it has no bearing on like how I live my life. I don't think she'll be able to in any way convert me suddenly back. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. Like I hope I don't say anything to offend her. Hey. Hey there. I'm Josh. I'm Erica. Hi. I'm Emily. Erica. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hey. Hi. Nice to meet you. And Nina? Yes, I'm, I'm Nina. Erica. Nice to meet you. So I'm a Christian. How would you identify? Uh, atheist. Atheist. Non-believer. Okay. So do you believe that like there's there's no God or there's something out there and you don't know what it is? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I identify as an atheist. If like agnosticism and atheism is like a spectrum, I'm like somewhere in it. I think that when we die, lights out and that's the blissful end to all of it. Is that and bliss though when lights it out? It is. So let me ask you a question. What do you believe exists beyond the universe? It's like the area where our minds kind of exist. Not the human, not the tangible. I don't think that that exists either. You don't? I don't. I think that everything that exists mm -hmm. is what exists right here right now, mm -hmm. in this moment, in your body. I was raised in the Catholic community. I just remember the first thing we talked about was Adam and Eve, and I just remember being like, that's just like a little story. But culturally, we're Hindu. Personally, for me, it felt like a lot of these, a lot of the stories of it, or they're just like stories. Uh, there's a lot of like people with multiple arms and like angels are blue, uh, which is like not real. So I was raised Mormon. Uh, my mom helped run the Relief Society. My dad was a bishop for a long time. My wow. grandpa was a bishop. I was the very first member of my family to walk away from it all. And they respond to that. Not well at first. <laughs> uh -huh. I grew up similar to you, but mine was a Pentecostal church called the Church of God in Christ. And my father was a preacher. My mom was over the choir. Um, but there was a lot of things that didn't always make sense to me, like why we were so poor. You know, you know if you live for <laughs> Jesus, everything's supposed to work out right. You know, but the same way, I wouldn't doubt love because people have gotten love wrong. And that's kind of how I feel about God. And I think it's very reassuring to me that after this is over, there's something greater. So most people who don't believe there was some, you know, traumatic church experience or some mm -hmm. long line of this doesn't make sense, this doesn't make sense, this doesn't make sense. Okay, y'all don't make sense, so maybe he doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. I do find fault with like Catholicism in general. We're not really like practicing, so we weren't like praying or like studying or anything. And so I just kind of like fell away from that as like, as a religion. I got kicked out of Sunday school because I was arguing with the teacher mm -hmm. about the age of the earth. In six days, 6,000 years, I'm like, um, but dinosaurs. I grew up in a church where secular music was a saying, everybody was the devil, you know, you can't interact, you know, it's gonna infiltrate you. My mom, her favorite saying growing up was that the devil gets to you in little ways. Yes. Like the first time I wanted a mohawk at nine years old, <laughs> she was like, devil gets to you through your hair. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm got really lucky and I have like great parents and you know they were like you know be kind be a good person yeah. like help each other out blah 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 yeah. um, so I feel like my moral compass is good I, I hope so, I think so. <laughs> I'm working on it the core of Mormon belief is the Holy Bible mm -hmm. the King James Version yeah. specifically yeah. every time I read something what I saw was a twist for human gain mm -hmm. I know all the same stories and had, I had the very same questions um, and what I feel like, you know, what I know the Bible is, it is all an example of how crazy and chaotic our world is. If you believed in God, what would that look like to you? I feel like if there was a God, I think it would be something like kind of unimaginable that I couldn't mm -hmm. like process as a yeah. human being. Do you believe in life after? You know, I I don't. You know, before I was like, I don't know, maybe like raw energy, like mm -hmm. what happens to us when we're dead, like, and nobody knows. And that's mm -hmm. the crazy thing, right? And uh, but 
uh, very recently, actually, my twin brother passed away this summer. Mm -hmm. And so I've been, that. thank you, but I've been, you know, like searching for him and I've been like trying to be kind of like open, like if, you know, if it is like a thing, like please yeah. freaking talk to me, you know yeah. what I mean? And like, I just, I haven't, I haven't felt it. Yeah. I haven't felt him, I haven't seen him. Yeah. And so that kind of for me was like, okay, like he's just, yeah. he's just dead. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, something that I'm just kind of like, okay, like mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm just never, going to see him again. He's still, you know, with me every day and I think about him every single day. But it's like I just, you know, I was I was open for it and mm -hmm. I I still am like yeah. if if something were to happen or whatever, yeah. but like you know, me thinking about him every day and remembering him and everything that I mm -hmm. do. It's like I feel like that for me is like enough. Mm -hmm. You know. Every time I look at any form of organized religion, the only thing I see is division. Mm -hmm. More wars have been fought over religion than mm -hmm. anything else. Yeah. Whereas when I look at a world with no religion, mm -hmm. you suddenly, everyone has to own up to just what they are and who they are. They yeah. can no longer hide behind and say, well, I, I won't bake a cake for these gay couple because my religion says that I don't have to. Mm -hmm. you, you can't hide behind that. Mm -hmm. There's always gonna be conflict in religion because religion is man-made. You know how you see these movies and there's always a devil on one shoulder mm -hmm. and I really think that's real. I think there's always a battle for the best of us and the worst of us. If there was one question of God that you could ask, if you believed in God, what would you ask? That's a really hard one. Is it? Uh, I, uh, Girl, I ask everything. <laughs> and there would probably be a lot of general just like whys. Mm -hmm. um, but he cares about you. And that's what I know Does for he? sure. <laughs> yes, you. What makes you happy? What I'm, makes you sad? I feel so small. And no. like the concept of a God, it feels mm -hmm. so big, like I said, yeah. and I feel so small and it seems impossible to me that anything that oversees like mm -hmm. our whole world or our whole universe mm -hmm. would have time for me. Absolutely. <laughs> I think um, that there's still a lot of questions there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Even from what you've said, still a lot of questions and I think that's the best way to be, like mm -hmm. to always ask why, the whys of the whys. Why do I feel this way? Why don't I believe? Could I believe again? Right. You know, what could cause me to believe again? Because mm -hmm. clearly there's something that caused me not to believe. If I told you that I would pray for you, what would you ask me to pray for? Oh, that's a great question. Probably not for me, but for like my family, I think. Yeah. Yeah, just for them to be like well and good and happy. Yeah. From my perspective, everything you've said, you can do without any religion and it's completely freeing for me. The most free I ever felt was the day I walked away mm -hmm. and said, I don't have to believe in any of this stuff anymore. Because to me, mm -hmm. God, religion, mm -hmm. all of it, it's completely superfluous to human existence. You don't need it. You can live a happy, productive, good, charitable mm -hmm. life without it. I believe in, you know, if there's a good, there has to be a bad. You know, we can't always explain some of the complexities and craziness of this world, but I think God brings gravity to it all, to the question. I, I love hearing what you have to say. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I necessarily agree with all of it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I believe that God knows you, he knows your name, he knows how many hairs are on your head, and your beautiful hair, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> I had to purchase mine. <laughs> Nevertheless, I think he knows everything about you and wants to get, wants to know more. This has been such a great conversation, and you're such a warm, like, I feel really like comfortable <laughs> here. Good. Um, yeah, just this has been really great. Awesome. It's been amazing talking to you. Great talking to you, Emily. I will well. be praying for you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. <laughs>